Okay, so we're logged into our new free Cloudflare account. Uh, I'm going to do this setup on test.com so it won't work. I don't own that domain. Um, so you go to websites, go to your new zone, or your new website, test.com. Um, and the first thing we want to do is set up the two text records. So in here, we just go to add record, choose text. Um, first one is underscore mta-sts. Change the TTL to one day. That's just how long other web servers cache it for. Uh, and then we put in the value. This is telling any client that it uses version 1 STS and this ID number I use the date followed by the time um, it's like a versioning system click save create one more text record this record is to set up the reporting so you define um, an email address that any error reports go to um, and again it's the reporting version one of TLS um, and then you've got your email address here again click save okay that's the easy bit done um, next thing we need to do is create a worker so we go to worker routes uh, and up here in the corner manage workers create worker um, leave the stupid name um, it's fine um, you cannot edit this at this point um, you have to edit after you deploy so deploy the worker well um, now you also want to open this URL in another tab so that we can tell so at the minute it's got the default hello world um, click on edit code and then you go into put in this code that I've put in the guide um, it's JavaScript um, note that this is for Google so these MX records are for the Google Gmail um, if you use a different mail system you have to use change those to your own um, MX records um, and then this mode testing um, once you've tested for a few weeks and you're happy you're not getting errors then you can change that to enforce save and deploy takes a few seconds should be done now now if we go back to here okay so this is our policy and you can see that it's HTTPS which is a requirement of the protocol go back to here so now we've got this copied um, let me just grab that put it in my text file down here it's ready okay back to Cloudflare um, we go to um, back to workers and pages and see routes click on view routes um, here's our routes we want to add a route and the route is going to be um, and you need the full URL based path mta-sts test.com for this example um, forward slash star I tested with a few connotations and this is the one that works zone we show this zone and then add root Okay, now we've set this up, we want to go back to our DNS. So we go back to here, go back to websites, it's easy enough. Back to our zone, that DNS. Then we want to add a new record. This time it's a C name, which is basically a redirect record. Um, name is simply MTS, MTA STS again and then the value is that URL that you have here without HTTPS or the, or the following slash so world icy leaf as we've got 
Okay. Turn off proxy, I think. Yep, validated. We turn off the proxy. And we save it. That is it. Um, in order to check that you're not getting the 522 error that I was seeing earlier, if we go to developer tools, look at console, then we load page again. Sources. We can see that the favicon is also a, returning a two, 200 uh, code, which is a uh, success. So now we would go to our domain toolbox, bear with me, go to our mail hardener site, and we want to go to MTA STS validator now. I'm going to put test.com and it's going to fail. So now you can see what a failure looks like because I don't own this domain. Um, but if I put in a valid one that I've set up also running in page cloud, not page cloud, Cloudflare, sorry. Um, we can see the policy. We can see that our mode is still set to testing. I only did this recently. And we can see that all of the information is correct. Um, you can get all of the code and the step-by-step -step instructions in the guide on flexible.sg. Thank you for listening.